today I'm going to explain to you what is fasted cardio, what are the benefits that you get from fasted cardio, how to perform it, and how it can be a big game changer to your fitness and health routine. I'm also going to share with you a few other little benefits that I have learned along the way of adding fasted cardio into my exercise routines and my clients as well. So what exactly is facet cardio? Facet cardio just means that you are performing cardio exercise when your body is in a fasted state. This means you haven't eaten and consumed any calories within a certain hour range so that your body's glycogen storage in your muscles and liver are lower. This means that the stored glucose is now its source of energy fuel rather than your dietary glucose. Basically, this just means that you're using your stored fat as your primary source of energy rather than the energy source you get from carbohydrates when you consume foods. So what does the hour range for fasted cardio look like and how long should you fast for? This is something I feel like a lot of people get a little bit confused about and get intimidated, but hopefully I'm going to explain it and you're going to feel better or more open to trying it. So your hour range for doing fasted cardio can differ whether you're male or female. This is basically because females, we have hormones. We cannot fast as long as men can. So say if you're a female and you are doing fasted cardio, your fasting window would be 16 to 20 hours without consuming any calories. And that is when you will perform your fasted cardio. Now, the same rule applies to men, but men can go up to 24 hours. Some even like to go up to 72. I don't recommend doing 72 hours if you are in someone new into fasting. So it's important to make sure you get at least 16 to 20 hours in while you're fasted because your body enters ketosis. Ketones break down the fats that are stored and now it's also used as a alternative source of fuel. So it's really important that if you are going to try fasting, you really want to make sure you hit 16 to 20 hours at most to really get the full benefit. Um, I personally, just kind of on a side note, I will do a 24 hour fast once or twice a month. I've been fasting for several years, so I don't suggest anybody doing that from the beginning start off slow and just start with 16 hours and see how you go and work your way up to 20 and go from there. So another question that I get asked a lot is what to do for your fasted cardio. So what I do and what I tell my clients to do is I like for them to do at least 30 to 40 minutes of cardio on either an elliptical machine, a stationary bike, a Stairmaster, then follow that up with an ab routine workout. You can perform fasted cardio outside, either jogging or running, but it's really important to get your heart rate up between to 120 to 150 while performing your cardio. Now, when should you be performing fasted cardio during your fitness process? So depending on where you're at in your fitness journey, if you are focused on really losing fat and or trying to lean out, get more defined lines in your muscles, then that's when you want to add more facet cardio days into your weekly fitness routine. You will, you should always have facet cardio days in your fitness weekly routine, but if you're somebody 
that you are wanting to focus on really leaning out, really losing more fat, focusing on getting the lean muscles, getting the more defined lines, I am going to suggest you do four days of fasted cardio and three days of full body weightlifting days. The reason why you want to do the weightlifting days is because you don't want to lose any muscle. There's a lot of people out there that get scared of doing fasted cardio because they get worried about they're going to lose muscle, they're going to get smaller. I can promise you, like, I've been there. I used to think the same thing. And as long as you still incorporate at least three days of weightlifting into your weekly routine with your added facet cardio days, you're not going to lose your muscle. So that is where you would want to perform is if you're really trying to lean out or lose a lot of fat, get more defined muscles, you want to have more days of facet cardio versus your weightlifting training days. Now, if you are someone who is really focusing right now on really bulking up and gaining a lot of muscle, you don't want to do four days of facet cardio. You want to focus more so on probably doing, I would say like, you know, reverse it. Four days of lifting, three days of facet cardio. You can kind of go in there and make your own variations, but this is mainly focusing on leaning out, burning muscle, for those facet cardio days um, if you're in that stage where you're trying to lean out or lose fat. Hopefully that makes sense. So what can you eat? I get asked this question all the time, like what do you eat when you're doing facet cardio? Well, that's the thing, you don't eat. It is really important that you're not consuming calories while doing your facet cardio because that will break your fast. Once you add those calories in, like you're done, like your fast is broken and you have to start all over again. So the things that you can have to help you during your fasted cardio days, you can have water, you can have coffee, you can have sugar-free gum. There are certain sports drinks that you can have as long as they don't have sugar or any source of calories. So. It's always hard in the beginning, but eventually your body will learn to adapt and you'll see the benefits that you're getting from this and it will really make a difference in your fitness, in your training routine, and also with your mental health, which I will get to. So basically, yeah, you can have water, you can have coffee, you can have sugar-free gum. That's basically it. Um, Foods to avoid and things you shouldn't have while doing facet cardio. Um, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of things out there that can, that people say that you can do that you just really shouldn't. Um, so for number one, no bulletproof coffee, MTC oils. These are two things that have been stated that you can use during fasting. That is not true they will break your fast. So please do not consume Bulletproof coffee or MTC oil during the fasting window. Um, other things you can't have, no bone broth. I get asked this all the time, can I have broth? No, has calories in it, can't do broth. Um, no butter, no creamer, no milk, no pre-workouts that have any formulas that basically contain calories you don't want to do any essential fatty acids like omega-3 fish oil capsules. Don't take these while you're fasting. They will break your fast. So hopefully I don't sound like I'm repeating myself, but you know, fasting is hard, but these are the questions I get asked a lot. So I want to put as much inf information out there as I can to help you guys. So, um, so yeah, I, cannot tell you enough like how much this has made such a huge difference in my fitness routines, my clients' fitness routines. Um, if you are someone who is really struggling 
to really get off, like to lose, you know, a certain amount of body fat percentage, you're really trying to get like the last few pounds off. I really cannot recommend enough of doing fasted cardio in your fitness routine. Um, I will say that fasted cardio, you know, it is hard to fast, you know, anything's hard and difficult the first few times you do it, but then you kind of get to the point where you, when your body gets into that, that ketosis stage and you really get the brain cognition of your brain functioning so much more clear, you get more so spiritually more connected. It's definitely a game changer. Um, so I would just say like, it's not going to hurt you to try it. What do you have to lose by trying something new? Everything is going to be a challenge. You're not going to be good at anything right away. Um, so this is, you know, I think you guys would really, I think it's going to be a big game changer to your fitness routines. Um, it's also very helpful for mental health, um, because of the, you know, the, because it improves your brain cognition, it improves your um, inflammation, it improves your, you know, your blood, you know, your blood pressure, it Im improves so much, it improves your glucose levels. This is going to also help, especially going back to like the brain, it's going to give you less brain fog. You're going to feel so much, much more mental clarity you can connect more spiritually. Um, I'll say this, I've had the best meditations um, while doing fasted cardio. Fasted cardio is a great time to experiment with meditation if you are new to meditating. So, you know, there's a lot of great benefits here. Um, I think that it's something that people get scared just because, you know, how can I go that long without food? Your body will survive. Your body can go longer than you think without food. Um, another thing I want to add is that you can count your sleep time for your fasted cardio. Now, just be aware that sometimes when you are doing fasted cardio, you, some people have a little bit harder time staying asleep and falling asleep. So you really have to kind of just test it, play around, figure out what your sweet spot is. Um, I always like to tell people too, like if you're trying out fasted cardio for the first time, like maybe pick a day that you know that you are going to be more busy. Like if it's like a weekend and you're gonna be busy, you're gonna be running errands, you're gonna be going to a lot of places, you're already like not gonna have enough time to necessarily eat and consume a lot of calories that day. That is a great time to try fasted cardio. I don't suggest doing fasting if you have nothing going on and it's just like, you know, a rainy Sunday and you're stuck inside and you have nothing planned because your mind is just going to be racing and just is going to be thinking about food. Now, what I personally find with fasted cardio is that for me, I notice that I get more hungrier during that like six window into it, that hunger starts to set in. I will tell you this, if you just kind of push through that and get more to like your eight to 12 hour marker, the hunger pains start to go away. It starts to get easier. And at that point, like, you know, really make sure you're getting your water in. Staying hydrated is really important um, during fasted cardio. So really make sure you're adding electrolytes into your water um, and staying hydrated. You know, we don't want anybody getting dehydrated while doing this. Um, so yeah, I think, um, yeah, I hope this information was all helpful. Um, I definitely say like, if you're someone who's been wanting to try the fast cardio again, you're struggling with getting a little bit more weight off. It's definitely worth giving it a try. You, what are you going to lose by trying? Cool. You missed a couple meals. You're going to be fine. But, um, I hope all this information was helpful. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and comments below. Um, if you're interested in training with me, I have a spiritual 
fitness um, training program. So I will link my website um, below if you have any questions and you don't wanna ask them in the comments. I get it, like I'm pretty shy. Um, so feel free to just reach out to me on my website to ask me a question or you can find me on Instagram and DM me there to ask me any questions. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys like this video and I appreciate it if you guys liked it to please give it a thumbs up. I am newer into making videos so I would appreciate all of the love back from you guys. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to make more videos and to share more information with you guys soon. And I hope that you guys are doing wonderful wherever you are at in the world. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.